forces that this game could be over. Well, no, looks like he manages to get Lings out. It's actually better that he got Lings rather than Mutalisks. If he had uh, gotten three Mutalisks there, he actually would have been worse off. But the Lings spawning right there were pretty helpful. Now, Savior does have... Uh, more Lings coming good. He lost a couple of drones. He lost some mining time, though. And uh, Savior, well, he's going to be able to clean up this force here. So good job on Savior's part, I guess, managing to pull up those emergency Zerglings. But uh, he really did not need to suffer much in the way of damage had he just not had his Lings uh, running around near Flash's base. Um, he also is going to be uh, delayed on his Mulus harassment. And, of course, he got his economy hurt moderately there by losing uh, three or four drones, I think. So, um, Savior, uh, I wouldn't say that was complete disaster there, but certainly not playing as good as he needs to be if he wants to beat Flash. Flash right now is putting up some turrets. I think he'll be well prepared uh, against against Savior's mutilous harassment. Savior's going to try to re... He's just basically doing what he used to do all the time, that three hatchery build into expansion into lurkers, likely. But Flash should be prepared for that. That's an old school uh, build, and you need to pull it off very well. Um, you also need a Terran player who uh, doesn't know what to do, you know, basically it doesn't doesn't uh, play aggressively, doesn't try to take down your third base, uh, which is usually what the weak point is of this build, is this base right here, as you can see. Flash is definitely ready for this Mulus harassment, I think. Um, I don't see Savior managing to do much here with his uh, uh, seven or eight Mutalisks. He's going to have to follow up with a tech switch, I believe, but... Uh, you know, we'll see what he decides to do. Maybe he'll pull out some Jadong-like Mutalisk skills, uh, or maybe he'll just run in and lose all of his Mutalisks. Oh, decisions, decisions, you know. <laughs> Alright, there's the den. So we are going to be seeing that old school 3 hatchery built. Flash with an advantage, I would say, though, still. Uh, he's managed to pick off a couple of Mutalisks also in the process here. Um, Savior has not managed to kill an SCV yet this entire game. Flash is going to have uh, probably plus one upgrades pretty soon, and then once he notices the lurkers coming out, he's going to get tanks, and then vessels, finally. Um, and then, uh, you know, he's he's most likely going to try to pressure that new base. It's going to be tough for Savior to hold all of this, um, especially with that base being so far away. As you can see, it's I believe it's the main base. Yeah, it's the main base of the right side main, so that is going to be uh, very hard to get to for him in terms of um, reinforcing it. And it's not going to be that hard for Flash to attack either. I mean, this is uh, pretty close to his base diagonally. Savior has just as long to walk, if not longer. Savior's still trying to catch Flash, um, you know, but w with a split force here, but Flash is having none of that. Savior has had no success so far with uh, managing to surround a smaller group or something like that. Flash has gotten plus one done. Savior going to try to kill off one group. Okay, so Savior, uh, pardon me, does manage to get one of Flash's armies. That was pretty effective, I'd say. Didn't lose that much in the way of air, and he's uh, managed to shrink this force a little bit. Um, Flash still might have enough, though, to uh, take out this expansion. I'm not sure if Savior has got enough on the ground there. Um, he might need uh, some lurkers pretty soon. This is very medic-heavy. That's going to be okay against Mulisks. Flash managing to get out this expansion already, um, completely unopposed, and Savior does not have any uh, ground units coming by, so I think this expansion is going to go down. Yeah, it is going to go down. Flash just needs to stay on attacking, and he's going to take it down. Wow, that is could be game there for Savior. Um, kind of a mistake not realizing that Flash was going to go there and not getting some lings right behind those uh, marines. Um, he really needed to do that. I'm not sure where his game sense is, but that's what I feel like he's lacking in this game so far. It's just game sense. It's not even the micro that it's, um, he's suffering from. It's game sense just not knowing what to do at the right time. And usually, that's something that he would be pretty good at, given the fact that he's played a bazillion games. Uh, you know, former champion of the world kind of stuff. Uh, he's going to, might be able to pick off this army, but really, that's going to be a, a victory that's not going to be enough to pull him back in the lead, or give him in the lead. Uh, looks like he manages to do so. He did lose almost all of his air power, and these are, uh, you know, not that expensive for Flash to replace by any means. Flash with the first tank already out, way in the lead at this point. Savior still does not have a third base uh, anywhere that I can see, at least. Flash, uh, oh, with dropships. Oh, I like this. Early dropships, always good to watch. Always good to see. And Savior um, probably doesn't know about this. He doesn't have any Scourge uh, positioned around the map, really. So if he doesn't if he doesn't manage to intercept this, that is definitely going to be uh, the thing that seals Flash's victory here. Savior does have some lurkers. I mean, maybe if he gets some kind of brilliant lurker trap off, he would have a chance. But really, uh, I'm not sure if that's, that would be enough even. Especially because he has no idea this drop is coming. 
creeping down the left side of the map. There's Flash's army. It's got uh, three tanks with it, so that's going to be pretty good against any Lurker force that Savior can muster, which I don't think is much. A um, couple of Lurkers here or there. Oh man, this main base is utterly unready. Savior's going to be in for a rude surprise right now. There are the, uh, well, oh, looks like... Flash manages to get seven of his units down, so Flash is going to be very happy about getting this down there. Uh, Savior actually managing to get some Lurkers pretty quickly there, so a uh, good response time, although um, that's not going to help the middle of the map. Flash is going to go right for the Hydralisk's den there, going to try to stop Lurkers, and he is going to manage to stop the Lurker production. Is he going to be able to do it? He is, uh, right-click it! There you go. Nice work there by uh, Flash. I think that was... Um, it was break even. I wouldn't say it was a, a real victory because he didn't manage to get uh, much in the way of drones. So, uh, and he did lose that whole dropship force. But still, it's going to stop Flash from um, stop Savior from making his most dangerous unit to Flash, which is uh, the Lurker. Savior doesn't look like he's very close to having the Hive yet, so that could be uh, bad for him. All right, Savior is still trying to go for these backdoor attacks. I mean, that really was one of his signature moves back when he had signature moves, was to try to uh, sneak behind the enemy army when, when it was out in the middle. But, you know, back then I think he had better sense of when to do it. And also, um, you know, he, Flash seems that he's looks like he's very good at doing uh, a defense against that. And wow, as we saw there, Savior just losing two lurkers for no good reason at all. Um, Flash is catching them off guard. I mean, Flash is playing a smarter game in addition to microing just fine this game. Savior needs to protect that base, man. I mean, if he loses that expansion uh, without any resistance, that it just it, the game is just completely over then. Oh, wow, look at this. D Matrix on the Marine. It could be just running in there uh, for a break. Savior still trying to get behind. I mean, this is not working well for him. The middle of the map here should be his, but he is not managing to take it. Um, Savior now retreating towards his new base. That many lurkers is going to slow down the advance at least. But uh, Flash is a very good position here. Very good. Savior does not have a significant force behind Flash's force, which is important. It means he's not going to be able to get a surround. All right, Savior going to go in uh, right now with that mid-game dangerous attack with his lurkers. I don't think it's going to work. This attack usually doesn't work. And there is GG coming from Savior. Savior's lost many a game with this kind of uh, desperation attack. He just didn't have the steam to keep going, though. Um, he did, just lost too many units and didn't have the economy to keep up with Flash. So he had to go for some kind of desperation attack. Um, he couldn't, you know, sit back and, and defend and wait for hive and defilers um, just didn't have it with them so with that we're gonna wrap it up here and move on to uh i believe hyuk versus effort yes hyuk versus effort is gonna come up and then uh we're gonna see savior's couple of games in the mst flash's games in the uh, osl round of 36 i believe i'm gonna be casting and uh perhaps one more game a yellow game so definitely lots of games uh that i'm gonna be casting today you guys are in for a treat so uh stay tuned